another beautiful day out here. Well, it's dark and cloudy, but it's still beautiful, man. We alive to see another day. Thank you, Jesus. All praise to God, man. I know a lot of y'all be looking forward to this, these vlogs that we putting out, so we're gonna try to get them back to back for y'all, man. And shout out to everybody up in the feds, in the state prison, state jail that's got a phone in there and watching this Luciano TV, man. Appreciate y'all for checking in, man. I got y'all, I ain't finna let y'all down. So I just woke up and look at my eye. Like this is me opening it. Earlier it was like this. It's super swollen. You can't go nowhere. They don't think I backhanded you. We have a meeting today. Oh yeah, we got premarital counseling today. <laughs> You gotta get it right, man. Premarital counseling today, man. You gotta get it right. You gotta get all the ins and the outs and the outs and the ins together. You know what I'm saying? Before we make that big giant step. So Lucky actually agreed to go into counseling. I remember last year I was like, we should go to counseling. And you were like, I don't need nobody to tell me no how counselor. to. I'll tell the counselor how to do this, man. <laughs> but we're gonna go to counseling later on. Yeah. I'll do it for you, baby. I'll do it for you. Whatever you want. She feel like she can't talk to me sometimes because I'm Mr. Know-it-all. Yeah. And then he gets mad at me when I tell him how I feel. Or, like, if he hurts my feelings and I cry, he gets super mad. Because I feel like once she starts crying, she automatically wins. <laughs> it's like, dang, just because I don't start crying, I, I lose the argument. Anyways, that's, you know. Couples, Fellas, I know y'all feel me. Couples go through it. And men, y'all have to like put your pride to the side and try and understand, you know, not only your woman, like where other people are coming from. Yeah. So that's what we got going on today. And the kid's going to get uh shout out to Stephanie going to come through and babysit. <laughs> I don't know how she's going to react. To all these kids, I but so not bad. all of them are here. Kingston and Elijah are at my mom's house, so they don't even need no babysitter anyway. But they'll be back later on today. But Houston is he gonna be the hard one? Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Let us get up. Well, let me get up because Lucky done already showered, ran, did all that. Baby, did my little morning routine, baby. I did my little morning one, two, one, two. You today, know what I'm well, yeah, today, earlier today. Baby Christian woke up like at four in the morning, was up playing and talking and doing his little baby, you know, things. And then next thing you know, he takes the biggest dump ever, you guys. It sounds like a waterfall. I'm sitting here in the dark trying to like clean him because I don't want to turn on the light because they were knocked out. OMG, it was bad. And he didn't go to sleep till like six and now he's up again. Look at him. And it's 7.41. Now wake up time. You ready to eat some breakfast, Houston? Y'all check it out. I'm going to do a raffle on this Range Rover right here. I'm going to do a raffle. I'm going to sell tickets for $75. I'm going to pull it out today. Take some pictures for y'all. Get it nice and clean. Let y'all know I'm going to do a raffle. $75 tickets. Sell about two two three hundred tickets and we're gonna draw names and somebody gonna walk away with the range for 75 dollars you know what i'm saying clean got a fresh new wrap on it got tvs in the headrest man you want it no nah, we don't even drive it's just sitting there collecting dust we're gonna get rid of that thing man Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to give y'all more information on that. 
I, I think I'm going to make a little website or something where you can go to, a little landing page where you can go to called Range Rover Giveaway or something. I'm going to make a little thing so you can click on it and everybody can see their names. Or I got to figure out a way where everybody can, it'll be legit and everybody can see everybody's names. And once we get a certain amount of people on there, it's going to be, uh, we're going to draw the name. We're going to random, randomly pick a name. For seventy five dollars, man, and I'll throw in some prizes inside of it for the winner, and we'll have a second place winner and a third place winner. Come on. Thinking like maybe second place gets five hundred dollars, third place get a hundred dollars worth of merch on LucianoTV.com. So y'all stay tuned for that, man. I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. The Range Rover giveaway coming soon. You watching Luciano TV? All right, so we made a run for it. Babysitter, we're not gonna call her the babysitter. Stephanie pulled up and she uh, she entertained Houston for a bit while we made it run for it and got out the house. I'm pretty sure he's gonna scream when he finds out that I ain't there or that we ain't there. He'd be by the door telling him, Daddy left me. But we're on our way to our little therapy session. Are you ready for this? Man, I'll stay ready. I really don't know what to expect. We'll let y'all know how it goes when we get out. I really don't want to be on camera because I feel like I look super bad. Like, type in the comments let me know it doesn't look that bad. It don't look that bad in camera, but in person it does. It looks swollen. Look, the closer I get, the more you can tell. Um, <laughs> and I'm low-key trying to, like, <laughs> open my eyes super wide. Show them the redness of it. But, ooh, hold on. Yeah, just get a little sneak peek. It's kind of blistered up, so yeah, I gotta be super help. I gotta be super careful. That's why y'all think twice about getting tattoos, cause when it's time especially on my face, cause I'm super scared that it's gonna scar. Then I cut you off. I'm so sorry. When it comes time to get it removed, <laughs> it's a long process. If you're trying to get a tattoo removed, it ain't just like a one-time thing. It's a process. But I did want to let y'all know, for those that don't know who Stephanie is, she is actually one of our church sisters. She is Pastor Juan's assistant. She, you know what I'm saying? She's She became a really close friend in the short period of time that we have met her. So she's awesome. Thank you, Steph, if you're watching this. You're awesome, possum. We'll be back in like an hour. And I'm sure you already know this. Uh, but yeah, we're, <laughs> we're head I just wanted to let y'all know who she was because y'all are going to be like, who's Stephanie? Um, yeah, but we'll let y'all know how it goes. And... and we'll pull out the camera when we get out. All right, y'all. We just got out of our little session. And it went great. The main thing he said is it ain't about being, no, it ain't about who's right. It's about what's right. And they said we're pretty good. We're pretty good. They said most people be in there cussing each other out. So they said we, we're pretty good. You guys, my eye is super, like, swollen. I don't even want to show y'all because it, like, looks bad. Um, and I feel so ugly. I feel like those people out of the hills have eyes. <laughs> anyway, how'd you like our session? I felt like it was very much needed. Hold on, let me switch hands. Kelly was in there crying. Kelly was in there crying like, she always starts crying. You're so mean, y'all see how mean <laughs> he is? Maybe I got I'll emotional because anytime you go to therapy or like counseling, you know, they know what they're talking about. They start getting deep. And, like, he started off deep with me. Like, he started asking, like, questions about my past. And it just kind of broke me inside real quick. Like, I don't know. Anyways, we're about to head back home. We have to stop and put gas. I feel so dumb talking to y'all with my hand over my eye. Stop covering <laughs> it. Well, because, y'all, I'm done. <laughs> We'll check in with y'all when we pull up to the house. But overall, we had a great session. I love you, Kelly. Babe, you just... We ain't gonna have no problems. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna work on our communication and have some more time. Oh, we need to buy us some personal calendars so we can have marked time for our family time, our work time, and our 
relationship date time and make time for each other and make time for the kids and make time for work because right now we have all of that like balled it up into one and we got to separate everything right stop showing me in my eye all right bye i'm gonna get all one moon watch Your mama say you got a car to get you from point A to point B. What is that car? This ain't the car you jump in and try to drive on a cross country road trip, but it'll get you to point A to point B. So y'all stay tuned for the $75 raffle ticket giveaway for the Warren Moon Range Rover. Hold up, baby. Back at home. Leah, was the baby good while we were gone? Mm -hmm. Was Houston? Did you like Stephanie? Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't give her a hard time? Nope. I don't think he wants this. Oh yeah, he does. Turn this swing off. Can't hold this thing while it's on. What's up, Kelly? Tell me why we can't hold when the kids start telling us how Houston was calling Stephanie mom. I wasn't jealous at all. I actually feel like that's a good thing. Like that means that she reminded him of me, which is a good thing. Yeah, see, I finally shaved my chin. It was predominantly gray, so I said, "Let me go and get rid of this thing, man." I think I'm gonna go work out. You're gonna go work out. Oh, you guys, my eye looks so bad. Look, he keeps telling me he feels bad for I know, I do feel bad for you. It looks like worrying constantly. They're like, what happened to your eye? They thought I elbowed her in the eye. <laughs> I was like, no, I got my tattoo. You want spanking? <laughs> pow, pow. You want spanking? Say it. Hey, don't say that. What? <laughs> <laughs> you want spanking? Tell me why he's then ran in the room talking about. You want spanking? With his head like this. And then he ran to Lucky and started doing this. You want pop pop? Oh, the boys are here. Kingston's here. Go see. Go see Kingston. Hurry. What? Who is it? Who is it, Houston? Give him spanking. <laughs> Why are you hitting him with the head? All right, before we get up out of here, I got to give a shout out to Andy Alvarado turning. I don't know, but happy birthday, Andy Alvarado. And happy birthday to Abraham turning 27 years old. Happy birthday, Abraham. Hey. Appreciate y'all for watching. We will be back tomorrow. It's getting a little late, so we're going to go and start editing this vlog. It's hard to do them daily vlogs because you got to go run around, record, and edit all in the same day. But we're going to bring it to you, man. We're going to bring you that fire. We're going to bring you that action that you've been missing out on, that, that positivity that you've been missing out on. I just got something in the mail today. A big box. Let's see. One of my, my last Father's Day gifts came in the mail. Go to the trash. Whoa. Come on, Houston. My, my last little Father's Day gift. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Miss Kelly Jean for looking out. Yeah, as y'all know, if y'all watch the Father's Day blog, y'all know I got a, a new microphone. And uh, 
this also was another piece of equipment that I needed because uh, yeah, my other one, I just had it for years and years and years and years. And I got my money's worth. I probably bought it back in 2012. And it's already like almost 10 years old. But yeah, it finally went out on me. A preamp, my microphone preamp. I had a nice little preamp. And he was saying it was me that broke it. Even well, though you're the only one that be on my computer besides well, you, me. Well, you had it for eight years. I mean, it, there's no way it's going to work for more than that. Hey, them things last. Mm. Them things last, buddy boy. How y'all like my new track I just uploaded today? Lord, Lord help me. Y'all stay tuned for more music. Here, you want the box? Take the box. And this is what we got here, right here. And this is what we got. Focus right preamp. This right here is a good piece of equipment. If you and not, and it's you know. way smaller than your other one. Your other one was like twice the size. Yeah. Or more bigger. Yeah, this right here is gonna do the trick. So yeah, man. Bam. Huh? How does this thing work? So for those of y'all that do not know what this piece of equipment is, it's a time machine. My bad, money. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go hook this up and see how it sounds. Appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned. We will be back.